Hello and welcome to another edition of Bad Creepypasta. Today we are delving into the world of Mario and things that LOL Skeletons hasn't noticed and deleted yet to compensate for his small penis. This one is called Blood Whistle and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Forward. This is the recorded blog of a college student who was playing a modified version of Super Mario Bros. 3 on his computer shortly after submitting the last entry. He committed suicide in his dorm room. There we go. We know the story now. Well, we're done, haven't we? Uh, the next one. Yeah. yeah see, you and think, next one with bad group pasta. <laughs> you think it's because of this, but no, he's just stressed from college and all the responsibility. Really has nothing to do with that. Yeah, really. Case, he was bricking it because of an assignment, so he just shot himself. Having a rough divorce. <laughs> June the 5th, 2012. A friend of mine recently sent me what he claims to be a scary Super Mario Brothers 3 hack that he wants me to try out, because he didn't have the time I, or courage. I started this blog to record my progress through the game, because I have no friends. He got this from a site that's no longer active, and I've seen some pretty scary occurrences from emulator games before. Just look at Ben. <gasps> They're becoming self-aware. I want to point out that Ben, the story they're referring to, is a story uh, about a haunted game on a cartridge, not an emulator. Yeah. So, fail. Immediate fail. All of that aside, however, there was something definitely off about this ROM. It was SMB3 colon BW. Anyhow, I won't play any today, as I'm quite busy with college work and such. But not enough to, uh, you know, type this up. Yeah. But I will definitely start tomorrow. June the 6th, 2012. I played some of the game today. Obviously my friend was misinformed. I have played all the way through 1 to 3 and have found nothing irregular. All of the sprites, levels, and sounds didn't have a fluke to their name. Wait, a fluke? Wait, hang on. All of the sprites, levels, and sounds didn't have a fluke to their name. No, it's the same sentence when I try and read it twice. <laughs> uh, fluke's not the word you, you were going for, were it, was it? <coughs> no, I... God knows. Wait, dot, dot, dot. A secret. <gasps> that must be how you have to unlock it. Yeah, you have to wait for the blind boo. I swear, you guys, I'll find the warp whistle tomorrow and see what creepy secrets this game has to hide. Look for tomorrow's post. It won't disappoint, because I can see into the future. Maybe this will explain what the BW in the title stands for. Dot, dot, dot. I'd never be. June the 7th. I just got that. 2012. <laughs> I wish I hadn't unlocked that secret. Uh... This game will be the bane of my existence. <laughs> I'll try as best I can to explain what happened and will certainly and what will certainly entail. I don't know if any of you will believe me. I certainly don't. But this sick mockery of one of my childhood favorites must be exploited and never be seen by the eyes of any other breathing man on God's green earth. So I'm posting about it on the internet. <laughs> And Todd, what I'll call my friend for the sake of privacy and possibly security. Why don't you just call him Kyle? <laughs> Do not send that link to anyone else. You'll see why below. I entered the castle stage. Knowing its only secret was the warp whistle, I disposed of a dry bones before donning a raccoon tail. With a running start, I was flying above the stage until I hit the secret area. My whole right. life before I hit up on my arrow keypad. <laughs> was completely different. <laughs> it's completely life-changing event. <gasps> oh, no! I was happy. Everything gone. <laughs> I was normal. No, you weren't. I could wake up in the morning recognising my own reflection. What? Being absolute about... It turned him into a vampire. Being absolute about my safety. Pressing up. Now it's lies. <laughs> All lies. Oh, because I'm Mario. Know I know that. As of what happened today, my life will become an infernal hell what? in which every day will be a futile struggle to retire my own sanity. Just stop playing. I'm sorry, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh no! <laughs> For the benefit of the people watching, <laughs> yeah. Shadow Wolf just pressed up on my keyboard. They can't actually it's see all us. Oh no! Oh After, oh my god, listen to this. This would have been right at home in I Hate You. Yes. After finishing this wretched collage of electronic dejection. <laughs> oh, oh, marvellous purple bro. <laughs> wow. If you write like this, you're an asshole. Wow. I will embrace death like a long lost lover with open <laughs> arms. That's now it's turned into Thomas. Now, to get on with what had come to pass. Oh, if it was Thomas, he would be talking about how awesome he is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this guy could beat up the top lad. 
Fucking hell. The blocks that lined the wall were a gloomy, albeit polished, obsidian black. Mario's skin now had a greyish tint to it, but that wasn't what was wrong with that picture. The music was a sped up version of the normal bonus room theme. Todd's skull was cracked open and profusely bleeding, spilling blood onto the floor Whoa. and making the room slippery like an ice stage. <laughs> People, were sl- around in shoes. <laughs> People were slipping on it and they were all grossed out. His mouth was also agape and spewing blood onto the floor. The blood had an eerie, reflective quality that should have been graphically impossible for an 8-bit game like Mario 3. I doubt that. Would you say it was realistic in a hyper way? <coughs> I walked up to him to see what it is that he might say. Okay, there's going to be a picture for this bit. What he had to offer was this. <coughs> blood whistle. <laughs> Hear it cry. Wow, first of all, that's that 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 reflective quality. It's oh my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the MS Paint brain. Wow. That reflective quality of that blood, it's so realistic, isn't it? You can see. Yeah. Also, just what? I just like the way the waterfall is coming down like Matt like it's massive. I then ran towards the chest to see its contents. Why would you? The, tre- the chest was drenched in reflective, realistic blood. Okay, how does that look reflective or realistic? Of the same type emanated by the orifices and exposed cranium what? of the poor little mushroom-headed fellow. Wait, orifices, so it's coming out of his butt as well. Yeah. Marvellous. Butt brain. Well, he just said mushroom head too, so it's, it's all very sexual. Pressing onward, I ran <laughs> through it to discover its uh. dark secret. Its twisted surprise. I wasn't prepared for the following events. A blood-soaked warp whistle ominously rose from what I now believe to be the deepest crevice of hell. Right next to... Clearly it was sent up from hell by Sonic. It blipped (laughs) twice as the normal whistle would. That, my fellow reader. But you're not reading it as well. I'm just Uh, a reader. (laughs) I should be like... Yeah, yeah, I should be like your dear reader or something. (laughs) Anyway, learn to write. Um... Was the well, only if he learned to write, he wouldn't be doing this. Normality of what I have played today. It played a deep tune that I can't get out of my head as I write this. The whistle descended, violently striking Mario in the chest. In the groin. He unleashed a blood curdling scream as it went into his back and <laughs> out of his chest. What do we say about making that noise? <laughs> This cry wasn't 8-bit at all. It wasn't even cartoon-esque. It was the sound of unfiltered anguish, of utter agony. Oh my god. His expression reflected the same. To end my experience on this perverse version of something I once loved, Mario was transported to the warp zone of the blood whistle. I call it this because it had only the cookie-cutter outline of the quaint island. It's so scary. The water consisted solely of the same blood aforementioned in my encounter with the whistle. Why is it always blood? What, what do you mean? Why is it lemon meringue? Shitty, hyper-realistic shit, crap shit. Corpses of Coopers and other enemies of Mario <clears throat> were scattered afloat near the shores, while menacing eyes glared at me between the waves, mm. servicing just to cast their evil glance on Mario. Or me, I can't be sure at this point. (laughs) All of the worlds were indicated by their respective numbers, and all of the dots were crimson. At that point, I noticed yet another abnormality. I was playing this and doing nothing else in my life. This time concerning the dot for World 8. Beside it were two 8-bit patches of fire that twisted and contorted in place, without me pressing any buttons. The whistle stabbed Mario in the ribs. (sighs) This cued him to move to the World 2 dot, refusing to pay any further attention to the horrors that surely await in the distorted desert. I saved the game and quit. I have played more than enough of my fill for today. I guess that I figured out the acronym for the ROM file title meant Blood Whistle the Hard Way. I thought it meant Bald Weasel. Despite the horrors that plagued this abomination, I will continue to subject myself to this suffering for the sake of all of you. Wow. Well, wow. also you, you are you are some hero. <laughs> well, other, otherwise, the story. Yeah, like, honestly, the story. Like, and then I stopped playing it and got on my life. That's the scariest. Keep track thing. of the days. 
and maybe this desperate attempt to cling to my stable frame of mind what? won't prove to be in total vain. You know what? I don't think you have a stable frame of mind, mate, because you know it's a hacked ROM, you know it's scary, and then you play it and it scares you and you act like a total fucking pansy about it. Yep. I think, uh, it's like I said, you have to get through the trauma. But nothing's happened that's scary, though. He's, like, crying about it, and it's just, like, it's nothing's like going on. Stabbed Mary. Like, so what? It's a, you got a whistle in the back. It's a scary yeah. ROM hack. Your friend already told you. There are 5,000 people that have followed this blog in the two days it's been up. <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. I, I bet there aren't even 500 comments. <laughs> After this pointedly interesting post... Well... <laughs> where? <wow>. Where is it? <laughs> I'm hoping to have some more. For those of you who follow my posts, read oh, tomorrow's and share with your friends. I need you to expose the stark luridness of this shell of something I once knew and loved. I swear this is this is just like I hate you. It's the same. Yeah. He's just using words, 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 words. Gauntlet of depravity. June the 8th, 2012. Well, I did it. I managed to... I killed that hooker. I managed to clench the fickle fibres of my perception of reality. Oh, good lord. Long really? enough to play through World 2. You hero. I have come to the conclusion that whoever made this is completely and utterly deranged. And you already made this point. <laughs> There's been a rusted gear or a broken spring in the mechanics of their sadistic mind. Or, or, perhaps, they just like making scary games. Yeah. Their only purpose in creating this mod was to mentally and psychologically flagellate the naive poor <gasps> soul enough to take the bait of its mysterious origin. Uh I want to Even though person. your friend told you it was a scary rum hack. Well, I'm certainly naive enough to fall into that category. You certainly are. Yeah. I digress. To the experience! <laughs> As I to the blood whistle, my bill. <laughs> <laughs> As I look through the thesaurus for more interesting words to use. I find myself asking how I could have missed major things like this yesterday when I saved the game in this world. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Blood of the same texture from before was just splattered across the desert. Uh... As sand itself was. Solitary eyes watched me from the pyramids. Pentagrams and other sadistic symbols were also infrequent in the environment. So we're bringing that shit into this now. So are we? if they were, Satan. hang on a minute, guys. If they were infrequent, that means you barely saw them. Yeah. Just let, I'm just letting that sink in mm. for a moment. Oh wow! Read the next sentence. More importantly. Satan. Oh my goodness. Um, you know what? You you saw it first. Do you want the honor of reading the sentence? Could this hack? Be the work of the Illuminati! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, it could! Um, it could, and it is! Okay, enough <laughs> pondering. Fucking As hell. I wondered that, a man wandered into my room and he turned out to have three nipples! <laughs> <laughs> he talked to me about the meaning of horror. And oh. then Leatherface was killed by a biplane for no reason. <laughs> I need to finish this grim tale. Skeletons of Coopers littered the bleak landscape. <laughs> There was no, a skeletons. distant disturbance with Mario's appearance, though he looked starved and parched, as one would typically look after a few days in the desert. Then Mario moved into the 2-1 block without my command, and the music began to play shortly after. Oh. This was a reversed version oh. of the overworld theme. On the bright side, it actually belongs in this game. It's the, like, it's the reverse version of the tune from Mad World or some other random game I felt like bringing in. Whispers and other paranormal phenomena could be heard playing in harmony with the music, saying cryptic things. But like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard a blood organ in the background. After about a minute, I began to record the sound. Yeah. I'll upload it as soon as possible. I bet you won't. Because it's not on the Creepy Bastard, yeah. as far as I know. But I know I definitely can't do it today. One of the most distinct things I kept hearing was, Let the whistle guide you. Let the whistle guide you. Stop that. <laughs> and the <laughs> instrument of blood plays the sweetest tune. Oh, yeah. This creeped me out, needless to say. Because Barry White was but saying But this it. was only a fetid taste of things to come. <laughs> the sky. All these things to come. 